We compiled a list of our favorite shows over the last couple years and gave you, the fish fans, a chance to vote on your top 10 favorites. Well, this week, we're kicking it off with number 10, and we're going to work our way up to number one to find out just what your favorite show was. Whew. Just ain't happening. Time to saddle up, boys, because it's about to get up. Coming in at number 10 is Mug Creek Off-Road Park in Jacksonville, Texas. Now, I'm not sure if this show came in the top 10 because you guys just love mud and this is a huge mudders park, or if it's because I swamped my brand new Can-Am Outlander 1000 XT in a giant mud hole. But you know how it is when you're riding in the deep south, they challenge you to a mud hole, you gotta answer the call. Find some mud. Next, number nine. We are headed to British Columbia for the 2013 Can-Am ATV and side-by-side -side lineup. This is one of those places that was on our bucket list. We've always wanted to go riding here, and when you get there and you go out and hit the trails, it is absolutely amazing. It's like riding through a magazine, and I guarantee you this is one adventure we won't soon forget. Tom, baby. See that bueno right there? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Just right on the sketchy edge. Dude, that was That's awesome. what we do. For number eight, we're off to Coos Bay, Oregon to ride with the Warren guys. It's always a good time. We go out and hit the trails, but this was a little bit different. We went out and hit the dunes, and one of the coolest parts about this trip is we could ride right up to the ocean. anything like this on the East Coast. This is really cool. That's what I love about you fishers. I always have a good time when I'm out with you guys. 
Always, always, always. Stay connected with Brian and Fisher's ATV World by joining them on Facebook and Twitter. Fisher's ATV World is brought to you by Progressive ATV Insurance, Can-Am, ITP Tires and Wheels, Ride Royal Blue, Hatfield and McCoy Trail, and Yamaha. Coming in at number seven, we're off to Durhamtown Plantation in Georgia. Now, one of the things I really like about this park is it is totally family oriented. There is kids everywhere, and they're all wearing full gear, helmets, gloves, goggles, you name it. Everybody's out there enjoying themselves, whether they're on the tracks, out on the trails, or hanging out in the campground. There's all kind of stuff to see and do at Durhamtown. I think it's the best place here in the South, definitely. Down in Florida, they have nothing that compares to this at all. Durham Town is 6,500 acres of family entertainment, is the best way to put it. Just ain't happening. Gosh, you're so pretty. Wow. He's not allowed in the bus, sorry. <laughs> My wife said I'm not allowed to bus. Can I catch a ride home? Perhaps a hose. You're gonna get naked outside. <laughs> get naked outside. <laughs> the Fisher family ride at Rock Run Recreation in Patton, PA comes in at number six. And we went out there and met up with our good friends, the Quigleys with the four-wheel drive vans and took these things out and put them to the test. Then we came back to camp, jumped on our ATVs and checked out the rest of the park. We are officially naming this van Billy Goat because it climbs anything. It was all over those rocks. It was eating them. It's Mrs. Turn to Drive. I'm going to ride shotgun. Isn't there a word for that? We ain't using that word today. That word is okay. not applying for me. Shotgun. Shoddy, I called it. She's got two speeds, hot and off. She's either on the gas or not. I'm really scared. He paid his pants, look. She was throwing rocks and everything else. Slideways coming up around that corner. She is seriously abusing her privileges of driving the commander. We are counting down your top 10 favorite shows and we're now at number five. And we're off to the Bighorn Mountains of Wyoming. And this has got to be one of our most favorite trips that we've ever taken. Just because of the beauty and the scenery and the family time we got to share. And I will tell you this, this is the first time I've ever come that close to a moose. That is cool right there, boy. That is what it's all about. They were huge. That's what it's all about. That's what's coming out here so awesome. That's what we told the kids when we were bringing them out. We've ridden a lot of places and we've never come anywhere 
where if you see anything like that, that is just unreal. For number four, we are off to West Virginia to the Burning Rock Off-Road Park for the Thrills in the Hills event. And if you're into mud, there is one trail you have got to visit, and that's the Amazon. The Amazon trails are superstar trail for a good reason. Um, the Amazon's only a half mile long but um, it's a muddy, thick, wet mess. <laughs> People love it. It's a two winch, probably good idea. Uh, if you don't have a winch, you're not going to come out of there. Woo! Burning rock, baby, to Amazon! That's a deep This is crazy. We have been stuck, stuck, stuck. But I'll tell you, this is my favorite trail at Burning Rock, hands down. If you ever get here, you got the guts, take on the Amazon. Yes. Get your motorsports technician training in as few as nine months at the Motorcycle Technology Center. Coming in at number three is Rod Roll Blue in Pioneer, Tennessee. We always have a great time here, rain or shine. They've got all kind of scenic overlooks out on the trail, waterfalls, and besides, you just can't beat that good old southern hospitality. The resort sits on 72 acres. The trail system is 189,000 acres. It's owned and managed by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency. We're the only park in the state that owns their own trailhead. Our trail system connects directly into our campground. We don't have to send anyone anywhere to trailer or buy their permits. Everything is right here. Got a few of us out here enjoying the day, having a good time, doing some riding. Wish you was here. Man, we got caught in a rainstorm. Told Luther, the trail guy there, took us on all kind of gnarly terrain today. It's a good time. If you come here riding, you gotta hook up with the Royal Blue Rangers. They'll take you out and show you around, give you a guided tour, show you the best that Royal Blue has to offer. Hatfield McCoy's New Pocahontas Trail in Bramwell, West Virginia comes in at number two. And this was one of those trips that it was just really cool because my wife and I got to spend a few days together just out there checking out the trail before it was even open to the public. One of the most unique parts of our trail system is that we actually move our trails around the natural resource extraction. So the property we're on today, it may be getting timbered next year. We'll move that trail system a ridge over, let that timber company come in, extract the timber. We'll come back on their hills and put trails back on the roads they made to take the logs out. Look at this. I'm already a little muddy. Does Brian look like he got muddy at all? No. Brian just knows how to ride smarter. Oh, okay.
This trail system, even though it's only 60 miles in the beginning, will continue to expand. We have plans for over 100 miles of trail here. It's connected to Indian Ridge and Pinnacle Creek systems, which adds an additional 200 miles. We just came by the police and they were right up there and they waved us on through and waved hi. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's not too often you see that riding ATVs downtown and the police are like, come on, you're okay. Oh man, that was awesome. That's good trail riding. We got a little wet and muddy there at the very end. Thanks okay. to Melissa. She uh, ran up next to me in a big old mud hole and got me wet. So then the games were on. Are you wet? This side's a little wet, oh. thanks to you. You're not muddy though, look at me, I'm muddy. Well, when the cameras weren't rolling, this is what happened. He tried to get me muddy. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. She is full of crap. I was riding along minding my own business. She came up next to me in a water hole and splashed me. And I said, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like, can't ever let me just get one in on him. No, one? no, no. You hit me three times before I even <laughs> got you once. No, that's not true. As soon as I hit you the first time, you were, you were ready to go. Actually, what we were supposed to do with you, we were gonna stop you in the mud hole and I was gonna get you. That was the whole deal. I was gonna get you muddy, but it didn't well, work out that way. That's that's how it works. Yeah. yeah. That's what you guys get for ganging up on me. You got me good. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we have fun. Looking for great savings on all your off-road gear and accessories? Then head to motosport.com for the hookup on gear from Warren, ITP. Quad Boss, and more. Fisher's ATV World has been brought to you by Wilderness Trail Off-Road Park, Lucas Oil, Quad Boss, Dirt Wheels Magazine, Gator Skins, and ATV UTV Action Magazine. Well, folks, this is it. We are down to number one. And remember, this was voted on by you, the fish fans, and this show won by a long shot. I mean, number two wasn't even close. This was overall the fan favorite, no doubt. We are off to Bell County, Kentucky, to the Wilderness Trail Off-Road Park. And this was a cool trip for us because we got to go out there and do some camping with the holler crawlers and the progressive folks. We got some great trail riding in, some scenic history at the Hensley Settlement, and we wrapped this show up with a little competitive fishing. We got some spotters here just to make sure everybody's okay. We want to make sure everybody gets through this thing nice and safe. If they start to get out of control there, little cattywampus, we'll grab a hold of the rack and get them back down. I'm thinking I should get out of the office and do this more often. It's a lot of fun. We're changing up the pace a little bit, doing some fishing, practicing up before we head over to the big lake and do some fishing. We'll be fishing all evening. Unfortunately, my wife, Melissa, usually catches more fish than me all the time. I don't know what it is. She's already talking smack. We're gonna do a little fishing. I'm gonna show Brian what's up. Brian's not a really good fisherman. The fact of the matter is, Brian just jinxes the fishing. As soon as I catch three, he comes down here, the bite goes cold. As soon as he leaves, the second he leaves, Carl gets one. It's not the fishing that sucks, trust me. I know, she I know, I she really, I want to be the one to say that I got a fish, not Brian. I could just catch one little one. That's all I need, just a little one. And then I could say, I won again. Really? You didn't catch nothing, baby, except for me if you keep swinging that around. <laughs> she gonna hook me. She gonna catch a fish, a Brian Fisher. This tip of the week is brought to you by Warren Industries, your leader in ATV and UTV off-road products. 
This week's tip, I'm going to show you a simple little tool we made at home to help us get our gear bags out of the back of the truck once we get to where we're going. If you've got a Diamondback truck cover or any kind of truck cover or topper, it always seems like your gear ends up towards the front when you're driving down the road. So when your gear does that, we have this neat little pole that we made up with a hook on the end of it. We just duct tape this on. You can get a hook like this at Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that, or even a wooden pole, whatever you need. If you've got a six foot bed, make it six foot. If you've got an eight foot bed, make it eight foot. You just reach up in there, grab a hold of your gear bag when you get to where you're going, and your life just got a whole lot easier. Closed captioning for Fisher's ATV World has been brought to you by Rick's Motorsport Electrics. Well, folks, that's all the time we have this week. We hope you enjoyed our top 10 countdown show. And if you're on the web, you can check us out at fishersatvworld.com. And until next week, ride on and keep it real. We're going to start out at number 10, work our way to number one. one, one, one. My face is numb. Okay. <laughs> okay. We need to take him to the, to the hospital, but after we do this winch demonstration video, then we'll take him in. Please, please, Nick. I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm home. Yeah. We can act like that's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you're not going to get dirty because they said there's not a lot of mud out there. Why do you think we wanted you to lead the way? <laughs> oh, we wanted so you to really find the hole. Set up. Is that what it was? <laughs> that's good for TV. That's good, clean fun. And this has got to be one of those places where I have come so close to a moose, I could hear him fart. <laughs> So what we're going to try and do is get his back end up over this way. Excuse me. And uh, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, my face is numb. Come on, quit your complaining. Gosh, you're just prolonging it. I'm not prolonging, baby. I'm not prolonging. I'm in the union. Check my contract. <laughs> I have your contract and you're not in the union. <laughs>